we go. Ready? Top speed. What's going on, guys? Welcome to Moto City. Last week, we were out of the KTM Ride Orange Street Demo Day, and I got an opportunity to take the 200 Duke out for a spin. Now, the 390 Duke is a personal motorcycle of mine that I currently have in the garage and I commute to work on daily, and I really wanted to see what the difference was between the 390 and the 200. Look at the difference in cylinder size. Like, just right here at the base, we're like a whole hand in width versus this 200, dude. Look at this, the base of this thing, it's like half a hand. Wild! Now, the price point's significantly different. We've got 3900 for the Duke 200 here, and we have about 5900 for the 390. So I was just curious, how much extra do you get for that couple thousand dollars? Is the 290 Duke comfortable and capable on the highway, or is it a bike that's meant strictly for city riding? All right, kickstand up. Wow, there's no face, there's no little windscreen on this guy. Interesting. So right now I'm gonna to jump to that riding footage that I took last weekend on the 200 Duke so you can see just how this little bike performs. Here we go, ready, top speed. So the first thing that I'm gonna notice is the fact that that shift light is always on as far as this bike goes. So now we're fifth gear, winding this puppy out, shifting into sixth gear. All right, Duke 200, top speed. This is as far open as the throttle will go. And we're doing 67 miles an hour. Now there is a headwind, I am riding into the wind. As you saw, that dust blowing across the road. That's not because the wind is soft or stagnant, if you will. There is a breeze out there, there is wind today. And I am going 100% as fast as this 200 can go. Now that being said, this thing gets like 15 miles per gallon more fuel mileage than my Duke does. My Duke gets about 50 miles a gallon. And from what I've been told, this thing gets like 65 to 70 miles a gallon. That's huge. If you're just riding around town, not ever able to get up to 68 or 70 miles an hour, then this bike, this platform is perfect. It looks like a big bike. Um, it's aesthetically pleasing and it will get you around town just fine. Here we are guys, KTM Ride Orange Demo Day. Here comes a group of riders right now. So 200 Duke, super light, super nimble. All right, that was first gear, second gear, red limit. Third gear, fourth gear, can I even catch him? All right, fifth gear, pinned open. We're just flirting with red limit right there. Ooh, we got it to 75, 78. I got to be in a full tuck. 82, 83, 84, look at this guy, go! Alright, top speed on the 390 Duke, here we go. Alright, so first gear, gear second gear, red limit. Third gear, fourth gear, so right can now, I even catch him? We're already over the top speed of that 200 Duke. Alright, fifth gear, pin to open. We're just flirting with red limit right there. We got it to 75, 78. I got to be in a full tuck. 82, 83, 84. Look at this guy, go! lineup where the 200 belongs just behind the 390 adventure which is behind the 390 duke all 
And there it is, guys, the KTM 200 Duke, or Duke 200, however you want to call it. Now, giving you my takeaway of riding this motorcycle and really what I think this bike is meant for, I really think it's great for the city rider. And if this bike was available when I was 16 years old, this would absolutely be the bike that I would have been cruising around on. It's lightweight, it's easy to touch the ground, has a super low seat height, and it gets amazing fuel mileage. I mean, just everything about the Duke, including the price point, allows it to be the perfect bike for those just getting into the motorcycle scene. And there you have it. That there's the quick little preliminary ride on the KTM 200 Duke. Is this a bike that you would think about adding to your garage? I'd like to know. But as an all around beginner or entry level bike, I think KTM has hit a home run with the 200 Duke, especially with that less than $4,000 price point. Anyhow, hope you guys liked the video today. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more action like this coming directly to Jambox, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Until next time, as always, take care and ride safe out there.